But sometimes when uh, uh, sometimes when I get a song from uh, Emil, it's uh, an illustration of something that you have been having in mind for quite a while. And with Asphalt Wings, it uh, it's more of a scenario and uh, a vibe that we want to do. So yes. it's a very very dark song. It's very very epic kind of and uh, um, different, I would say. But it's uh, has been rewritten uh, a couple of times, and uh, in the end, it, it's also I think every track on this album is more about situation than actually different scenarios and actually dealing with a topic or like preaching something. So with bodies, it's uh, it's like a reoccurring nightmare that I've had, and when I got that song, it was like okay, I print it down in words, and that's like it lives in symbiosis. So it's. Uh, very, very dark and horrible. Temple of the Insects. Temple of the Insects is uh, one of the more like outgoing songs of the album. Mm. Uh, it's um, it's more like. Uh, party in Inferno or something. It's uh, Dante on Acid or something. Um, I don't know how, how else to explain it. It's Dante very, very acid. simple. It's very destructive and it's a dynamic tune that makes your mother and father strip and have intercourse. Crush and Prevail was uh, something that we really made in the studio. Yeah. One of the songs that uh, really happened uh, while writing there. So it's uh, underdog kind of song. It's underdog yeah. and it's my favorite. Yeah. Noise cut somehow. It's the perfect ending, mm. but it's it's not leaves a good the ending. Listener. <laughs> Le leaves the listener yes. in perfect harmony with perfect orchestration. Um, oh. Noise cut somehow reminds me sometimes about uh, a song we did called Sheltergrad. It's, it's like this big, it's very dark, and it's. Uh, uh, what Death Stars do when it's really personal, I would say. And it's, uh, it actually, yeah, it's a perfect ending of a terrible story. So, uh, 